So today, as you can see, I am rocking the Wax Canvas Haversack by Campcraft Outdoors. I added a snap to it. They don't come that way. And uh, th this thing is great. It's not too big. It's not too small. And sometimes I put it just over a shoulder. Sometimes I put it around my neck. And as you can see at the moment, I've got a tomahawk in here. Uh, there's plenty more room in here, but I kind of want to talk about, again, the philosophy of use. What am I using this thing for? Well, today, basically what I'm doing is uh, I'm on 17 and a half acres at the moment. And I don't know if you could see right, right there in the background is uh, some kind of old saw farm implement thing. Maybe I can zoom in on it. Nope. Um, anyway, I, I'm out here. I'm uh, on a four-wheeler, as you can see, and um, just kind of scouting around. And what's really great about the haversack for something like this is, you know, I've got a belt knife. This is my Battle Horse Knives Bushcrafter. Been my main knife for six years. I've got a Tough Possum Gear belt pouch right here with some essential type stuff but all the stuff that I'm going to need to go out here and just scout around maybe collect some stuff uh, maybe mark some trees or whatever that I might want to take down I've got in here so let's see I've got a pair of smart wool wool gloves just light ones let's see I've got the H&B Forge, there's the maker's mark right there, H&B Forge, uh, large camp hawk, useful thing to have. I've got uh, a roll of uh, 36 bank line right here. And uh, that's, I mean, your cordage is always useful to have, so I got some of that. And what else we got? I've got, this is uh, a north by north, uh, they call it a hooded neck gaiter. I'm going to call it a balaclava, basically. Right? That's nice. It's been getting cold here today, so I've got that to help keep me warm. I've got my trusty Baco Laplander. Good to have one of those. And then at the bottom, I just keep just a white uh, cotton uh a napkin basically really soft it's it's made out of that like uh, a flower sack kind of cotton i use this for all kind of stuff yesterday i was uh working on a bridge trying to widen it for the four-wheeler and this i used to put under my knees i was carrying uh, a big uh, log of um well iron wood don't really get the big log size but you know good wrist size over my shoulder and I just put that on there and had a little cushioning as I was holding it so always keep that in there very useful thing and lastly well tis the season I've got some Purell on the outside but uh, on a dummy cord I've got my Swiss Army knife this is the Victorinox Hercules it's got one of those uh, if you've seen my videos before if you've seen this it's got one of the firefly or whatever ferro rod glow in the dark jobbies uh, be very careful if you buy those but, but but anyway the philosophy of use here is there's not really a whole lot in my haversack it's just what i kind of need the only thing i keep in there all the time at this point is this this is the dedicated you know napkin that I just keep in there for whatever, but the rest of it is totally situational. And that is kind of where I'm going with this philosophy of use. You know, depending on what season it is, you're going to use a haversack for different things, depending on what kind of trip it is. I mean, this trip, I'm, I'm staying in a trailer park trailer that's on 17 and a half acres. Um, I've got a car, I've got a four wheeler, I've got a boat here. Uh, all that stuff is here. Uh, I've got conveyance. I, I've got a refrigerator. I've got electricity. and uh, You know, I'm not camping. But what I do have is all of this wilderness to explore. You know, there's the, there's the river down there. 
and I'm just checking out to see what kind of resources I might find. I don't really need a whole lot. There's not really any serious emergency situation that could really happen out here where I need a survival kit. I'm not worried about that. What I need is just a bag that's going to hold some stuff that I need while I'm out here. So, you know, it might get cold. Here's a balaclava, you know. I might want to cut down a tree. Here's a saw. You know, I might want to mark a tree. I've got some cordage. Cordage is just so useful to have anyway. So I've got that. Large camp hawk, you know. There, I don't know if you can see, right uh, right there behind me, there's uh, some grapevine. Well, those things strangle trees. This is a grapevine killer. So, you know, I'm just out here doing my thing. I don't need a survival kit. I just need a bag that's going to be able to fit what I need, my wool gloves, and that's it. This bag works great. And because it's waxed canvas, this haversack in particular, I could throw it on the ground and I'm not worried about it getting wet. You know, the outside will get wet, but it's not going to, it's uh, nothing on the inside is going to get wet. So that's my haversack philosophy of use today for what I'm doing right now. Under the elements that I'm dealing with, it's cold. It rained a whole lot yesterday, so it's wet, you know. So what do you primarily use a haversack for? I mean, I use it for all kinds of stuff. What seasons do you use it? Do you keep your food in it? Do you keep survival stuff? I, what do you use a, haver, a haversack for? You know, I use one all the time. It's so useful. Sometimes I go out and there's practically nothing in it whatsoever because I want to gather stuff. It all depends on what you're doing. So... When you think about a haversack, think about what are you going to use it for? What is the philosophy of use? And for me, there is no single, you know, standard loadout for my haversack. I see all, I've done them myself, haversack loadouts. Well, those are only for a moment in time. What am I using it for today? What am I putting in it for this trip or excursion or scout or whatever word you want to use just some stuff to maybe think about and if you're interested in this haversack I'll have a link below but there's there's a lot of good haversacks on the market I really like this one you might like a different one